Holy God. It was a miracle nobody was killed, according to some US troops at Al Assad Air Base. No Americans were harmed in last night's attack. But now the Pentagon says that several service members suffered concussions from the blast, with 11 transported to Germany and Kuwait for screening and all expected to return to duty in Iraq. Only injuries that threaten life or limb are required to be reported up the chain of command, and concussion symptoms sometimes take days to emerge. We were given similar information on Monday when the US military took us to Al-Assad. This is one of the bunkers where US troops took cover during the missile strikes and we've been told that several of them suffered concussions. And that's not surprising because one of the missiles hit about 30 yards in that direction. The blast was so big, it was unlike anything I've ever heard or seen or felt. In Iran today, the country's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, said the missile strikes had dealt a blow to the dignity and awe of the US. Khamenei was delivering the sermon at Friday prayers for the first time in eight years, using the podium to describe American leaders as clowns. With tensions still running dangerously high, Khamenei said Iran is willing to negotiate, but not with America. The US Special Representative for Iran said on Friday that the ball is in Iran's court. Holly Williams, CBS News, Baghdad.